Today I'm recording a video how to disassemble a Seagate all-in-one uh, 2.5 inch hard drive. The actual circuit board on the enclosure itself is damaged, so we're going to take the hard drive out and try and recover any data that might still be on the hard drive if the hard drive itself isn't damaged. There's no screws on this particular device. You can see it's just basically held together with a uh, sticky adhesive. You can just use a pry tool and I'm going to use plastic razor blades to basically cut around the edges and you can start up near the top where the micro USB um, port is. There's a little bit of a uh, seam. You can just use your wedge tool to pry between that. You're going to want to kind of push up towards you to separate the housing. Getting it open initially can be kind of a pain in the butt, so you might have to work with it for a little while. I've got my pry tool in there. I'm going to see if I can use a plastic razor blade for the rest of the process. You can see it's starting to peel up. Just keep going all the way down. You don't have to worry about cutting any wires. And you can stop where it curves. And just pull up towards you. You can see now that the hard drive is exposed. You can use your pry tool just to pop it out and then lift away from the micro USB port. You'll see there's a small two pin connector. You can just use your same pry tool to disconnect that. Now we have the enclosure disassembled. And you can see there's your basic notebook hard drive still attached to the circuit board. So what we're going to do now is just uh, remove the four screws take it off from the housing you can actually uh, once you do this you can install it in another enclosure for example this enclosure is defective you can buy an enclosure for less than $14 uh, depending on the make and model put the hard drive in and you have an external hard drive again uh, a lot of people take them out install them in playstations and other various devices but it's, it's just a basic notebook hard drive. There's nothing special about it. So you just take these plastic caps off so you can see the screws exposed. And then just remove the four screws. And you can go ahead and just pull out towards, you know, away from the uh, circuit board here. And there you have your basic laptop hard drive.
removed from the Seagate enclosure. Now I can plug it into my docking station and see if hopefully we can recover any data. Hopefully there's not anything wrong with the hard drive itself. I'm going to go ahead and do that now.